Hello for the book questers, it is I, Aaron the book Quester. So today we are here with this great book, Ranger's Apprentice, The Lost Stories, Dun Dun, by John Flanagan. So this book is not a book, like a straight story of the book. It's not like the plot and ending, there's more like mismatched parts of stories between Ranger books and some stories that we have waited for such a long time and have been waiting for the past, well, most of the books. And yeah, so it's not like this book which has a plot about the Emperor of Nihonja and how they are fighting, but this book has, let's just say it, it's lost stories. I mean, if you, if you look at the title, you can tell. I mean, yeah, you can tell. Anyway. Let's continue on. So, basically this story is mismatched pieces from between books. So, one is about Guylin when Holt ha went to find Will when the Scandian slave ship took him. And uh, when Guylin had to catch up to Foldar, the evil gangster, the bandit, he went to get him and, well, he succeeded. And he had a mighty sword fight and they thought that Foldar, they wanted Foldar back for Trog if possible. The Foldar was about to kill him, and if he didn't kill him first, well, it would be hard for Guylin. I mean, it would probably kill him. So, Guylin said, well, I don't think if possible means if my life was at stake. So he killed him. I mean, he didn't have a choice. And also, it contains two weddings, the wedding of Horus, the mighty warrior, the best of the swordsmen and knights and kingdom around one, marries with Princess Cassandra the Royal, who is the, the daughter of King Duncan, King of Aralewan, and they have a royal marriage, but someone had been sent to kill them. Someone who are Genovian and who are ha, who are expert assassins. They are here to kill the beautiful Princess Cassandra, but not of Will Treaty, the legend, the one who helped in burning Morgoth's bridge, the one who killed so many warriors, the one who saved Scandia from the Temujai raiders, the one who became the best friend of the Overjaw of Scandia, the one who saved many lives True hero who saved the castle Mackindor, who saved the Emperor of Nihon Jao, Will Treaty, the legend. And if Will Treaty's on the case, these Genovians don't stand a chance. That's one story. What, you know, the wedding. Because we've been waiting for this wedding since, well, the 19th century, okay? Like, in the books, every day. Horus and Cassandra, most of the books, come out, and they are all moony-eyed to each other, and they are like blind. I mean, they, they won't just say it, and they overthink it, and it's like so annoying. And then, well, they finally propose in the end of Nihonja, and they married in this book, which is awesome, which is awesome, by the way, which is very, very, very awesome. And then, finally, well, these are the stories I remember, okay? Well, some, there's one story about the Dark Climbers, I think. People who, well, burn false things, false beacons, like, you know, big bonfires that's actually not a beacon. I mean, a beacon's real purpose is to show the ship where it was, and if it was close to port, it would see its beacon, and it will be its savior, technically. And the great ship would dock where the beacon is, but if you build a false beacon in a place where there's a lot of sand, like the moon doctors do, the ship will be stuck, the moon doctors will get knives, they'll go on the ship, kill all the people, and take all the loot. I mean, yeah, pretty simple, job for a late ranger. And so Holt and Will, just like old times, Holt the Great Holt and the Great Will Treaty. Together, they go on a mission to save a ship full of people and capture the evil Moondarkers. I hope the name's Moondarkers. Guys, I really appreciate it if you just ignore that wrong, okay? Anyway, and as the for the last part, Holt, I mean, Will 
pretty and the beautiful Alice they finally marry. It's been a long, long time. They are all moony eyed for each other and they they mean and Alice she actually said, Well, I'm gonna marry Will when we grow up and since she was like seven or thirteen, probably thirteen, and wow, finally, it's been fifteen years. Fifteen years. Wow. And they finally marry in the end of the book. And there's also one quite tearful story when Tug, the ranger horse of Will, for 15 years got injured and he had to retire. And so the ranger horse retired. And what the, Will found out that usually that meant that another horse would take Tug's name and Tug would change his name. And Tug, the old Tug, turned into a Bellarophon. I mean, that's a pretty cool name for the nice old horse. And then they got a, he got a new horse named Tug. And Will, he, he still believes so, that Tug, new Tug, new Tug spirit was passed on by the old Tug. I mean, I, he thought it was ridiculous, but it's also ridiculous that Will kind of thought that he could talk with his horse. Most rangers think they can talk with the horse. And yeah. And it's a um, great book, but I mean, don't expect it to be one plot, one battle, and you know, of the same plot. It's not, it's a lot of short stories that couldn't make a whole book, but it's still awesome, nothing less. And like always, the book western, the book western. Royal Reddings, guys, Royal Reddings.